Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. Good morning, I'm Rachel Dahl and for Sam Shad on Nevada Newsmakers. Today we're going to visit with Tammy Westergaard, who is the coordinator for Project Sandy, a workforce development program through the Governor's Office on Economic Development, today on an all-new Nevada Newsmakers. Love and luck are in the air at Carson Valley Inn. Thousand dollar winners guaranteed every drawing night. Up to $7,500 every Saturday. And $15,000 in grand prize giveaways Friday, March 31st. It's the Love and Luck Giveaways at the Carson Valley Inn. Big R in Sparks is located on Bering Boulevard next to Smith's and across from Reed High School. It's a 50,000 square foot hardware store and a whole lot more. It's huge with clothing, power equipment, tools, and of course, hardware. Big R is located on Bering Boulevard and Sparks, next to Smith's and opposite Reed High School. Big R, hardware, and a whole lot more. As you know, Reno is booming. Toll's development company is helping it grow with insightful design and development, building community with every project, adding beauty adding excitement, emphasizing our shared humanity. Reno is becoming bigger. Toll's development is helping it become better, more livable, more enjoyable. To learn more, go to tollsdevelopment.com, tollsdevelopment.com. When in Carson City, Nevada Newsmakers records in the conference room at the Bank Saloon. Coverage of the 2023 legislative session is brought to you by Liberty Dental Plan, making members shine one smile at a time. Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. The Regional Transportation Commission of Washoe County, your RTC, our community. NV Energy, proudly serving Nevada, providing electricity to 2.4 million electric customers. And by Nevada Builders Alliance, building a better Nevada. Nevada Newsmakers with host Sam Shad on No Holds Barred Political Forum. Now, from the Nevada Newsmakers Broadcast Headquarters, here is Sam Shad. Welcome to Nevada Newsmakers. I'm Rachel Dahl. Today on the show with us, we have Tammy Westergaard, who's the coordinator for Project Sandy, which is a, pro a workforce development program run out of the Governor's Office on Economic Development. Thanks for coming. Oh, thank you so much for having us here. I think the one of the neatest things about this program is that you're partnering with libraries. Oh, libraries are core <laughs> to how this whole big idea is anchored. And um, we know that libraries are a place of the people. They're not a place of the government. So because they're so accessible, they're open after hours and on the weekend and they're available to everybody, um, libraries make such great sense in terms of partnership. But I think one of the things that's most critical about it is that libraries are trusted places. Yeah, so, for sure. Mm -hmm. You talked the other day, we were in a meeting together, and you mentioned how many libraries are in the state of Nevada. Yeah. Talk about that, because that blew me away. Did it really? Yes, yes. I had no idea. Yeah, well, libraries, um, we organize ourselves in four different types. So we have academic libraries, we have school libraries, we have what are called special libraries. So libraries like the Supreme Court Law Library or municipal library, law libraries, uh, those types of things, corporate libraries, and then public libraries. Right. So public libraries is what I was talking yeah. about. And um, yes, our library system in the state of Nevada is incredible. There are um, 22 library systems that represent all the counties in the state of Nevada. And I like to compare a library system to a tree. So a library system is the tree, and then there are branches that exist related to each tree. So yeah. combined, there are 94 branches plus three bookmobiles that travel um, to all Nevadans. So it's an incredible distributed network 
that has um, lots of things in common. Uh, it's buildings that are open uh, to the public. It ha they, every building has internet access and connectivity and computers. They have information professionals that are there to help you right. find the things that you need. So it's So you're wonderful. taking that infrastructure yeah. and tying it into this workforce development program. So give us the... Give us the big picture of this program, because both of us, between us, we'd be here for a week talking about this. That's true. So just a big picture view of Project Sandy. Okay, so. And how it connects, how you're going to use the libraries. Okay, got it. So the, um, the, the library connection is the place where all Nevadans can go find out information about the world of work. The world of work is complicated, and when you have a question or you wonder how your skills might apply to various jobs within your area or outside of your area, going to the library is something that's natural. You, we call it reference work, where people come in and ask a question. So the big picture idea is to put libraries as the first front door to at, ask questions about the labor market and about skills and abilities that you might need to compete for the good careers that are in the state of Nevada. And then using virtual reality resources, we um, have VR headsets that have career information content that's specific to Nevada. So individuals could literally see into the world of work. You mentioned going on a field trip of a dairy? <laughs> yes, in VR. With the VR? That's 100% Just true. One of, the one of the things that you could look at is a field trip to a dairy. Yes, you can look at a field trip in an agriculture environment where there is there are dairy people that are working and doing their things but as you all well know um, that enterprise employs all different kinds of skill sets so a dairy is representative of a very sophisticated 21st century work environment where there's lots of different um, kinds of um, skills that are required to work there because right. of automation because right. of the complexity of the work because um, how you have to be able to solve problems, you have to think critically, you know, all of those things are reflective in a dairy enterprise. So you need plumbers, you need technicians, you need um, people who can uh, take care of the livestock. I don't have to tell you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, how many different career paths or, uh, so you go to the VR library, <laughs> Like lots of options? Yeah, of course. <laughs> but I think it's important to remember that this project is focused on Nevada's five yes. resilient sectors. So talk about the five yes. resilient sectors. So those include advanced manufacturing, which in many ways, even something like a dairy enterprise is an advanced manufacturing sure. environment. So it's advanced manufacturing, um, IT, skilled trades, logistics and um, healthcare. So right. those are Nevada's resilient sectors. Um, Nevada's best jobs exist within those big verticals and there's lots of kinds of jobs that are um, out there um, that help an individual onboard into a career. And that's really important because jobs can be taken away but careers can't. Yeah. So yeah. this is highly focused in that um, sectorial employment programs. That's so cool. So, yeah. so is this a um, is this a link to getting a job? Is this research to getting a job? Is yes. this training to getting a job? Yeah, thank you. It's all those things. So, thank <laughs> you for bringing me back to that. That's all right. Right. So, as you um, begin your career exposure path, because lots of us need to understand the world of work, so we're getting exposed to it through those resources and the different assets that I was talking about. And then we also then want to explore deeper what's the best fit for us. And so we use the tools that are available through this program to help for example, there are really incredible assessments. We have an assessment within the Nevada Career Explorer, which is the career information database that somebody can use to start um, 
kind of organizing themselves and the things that they find to be interesting and where do they want to continue with the exploration, we have an assessment that essentially helps people understand their suitability in working in the world of automation. It's an assessment that's been put together by um, one of our partners called NC Lab. And so imagine being able to um, go through an assessment that really can help you as an individual understand um, your capacity for working with robots, working with machines. Right. Those are skill sets that we don't often think about and we don't really think often enough about how do we know whether or not we're a good fit for some of those kinds of right. jobs. And maybe we are, and maybe that will help us identify a skill gap. And then so we can level up and then keep moving towards those careers because that's just such an important part of why we're doing all of this with such precision and with such robust tools. So then once somebody determines, oh, I would really like um, a career as a, um, a, an HVAC technician. I know that I want to go into that. I can see how important that is in agriculture, in greenhouse productions, right. in all of those kinds of things, <clears throat> not to mention in huge buildings like we have in the southern part of our state where right. we have to keep everything cool, all of it. Then uh, from there, it will match you into training programs that are available within your area. And so it through the system, we're able to connect an individual right to that training provider um, directly because right. the training provider is uh, rostered into the system. There's an ecosystem of partners okay. where the, the handoffs are happening within the system. So it helps the individual. It saves them time. It saves them heartburn from trying to navigate, oh, where do I go right, next? Right, right. You know, how do I take advantage of it? And then <laughs> through this um, program, there's actually tuition that's available um, for qualified individuals to go through those training programs for free. And, okay, let's talk, okay, let's talk tuition okay. when we get back from our break. We're, we need to take just a little break. Sure. And then we'll come back and we'll do tuition. And we'll let's talk about if you're an employer. Yes. I would. How does this how does this help? Sounds because good. I know I've been on that side. <laughs> sure. Yeah. We'll be right back on Nevada Newsmakers with Tammy Westergaard. Win some leprechaun loot during the $75,000 all-cash Go Green giveaways. More than 150 winners in all. Find your pot of gold with $15,000 in weekly cash giveaways guaranteed. And $25,000 in grand prize giveaways, including a $15,000 cash top prize. It's a good time to win at Tamarack Casino. Save money and take transit. Did you know you can ride the bus all day for less than what it would cost you for a gallon of gas? Plan your trip now by going to rtcwashoe.com. Pro Group Management specializes in providing industries with the necessary components to satisfy and exceed workers' comp requirements. Every business has unique needs and specific regulations. Pro Group Management stays ahead of the curve, providing up-to-date services to keep your industry in top form. Discover how we simplify your tasks, improve efficiency, and reduce expense to keep you moving in a positive direction. Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. Hi, I'm Renee Summer, our digital news anchor here at 7 at 7. Watch our streaming nonstop newscast immediately with your mobile phone. 7 at 7 is the new way for you to get every bit of local news you need in just seven minutes. Breaking news, local neighborhood news, weather and sports are just a click away. Reporters bring you all of what's happening in the Valley from Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, YouTube and more. Get every bit of local news you need from the RJ and LVRJ.com. It's a good time to win at Tamarack Casino. This is Nevada Newsmakers. We're back on Nevada Newsmakers with Tammy Westergaard, and she's talking about Project Sandy, which is a workforce development program out of uh, the governor's office on economic development. And I brutally cut you off right as we got to the important part, tuition, <laughs> money, how do we pay for the training? Right, right. Tuition is absolutely a part of how um, all of these services are going to really help Nevadans once they make that great decision and they've done it with uh, from their own um, searching, asking their own questions, finding their own answers. So they're 
they're resolved. They they know that they have a good fit. They found a fit. Exactly. And that is a really important distinction of all of this work, that it's the individual that's finding their fit. It's not just showing up and saying, well, I don't know what I want to do, but here's some free opportunities and I'll try this and I'll try that. Right. The research tells us that people's success rates are much higher when it's the thing that makes sense to them, obviously. Yeah, that's and awesome. So yeah, so the tuition um, is absolutely available. Individuals can uh, actually leverage opportunities for more than one industry credential up to $5,000. So these credential programs have different prices. They last for different lengths of time, yeah. but someone could complete a credential program and then stack another one on top of that up oh, to $5,000. Cool. Wow. Yeah. We have uh, some really exciting examples of that. Uh, one of the uh, industry credential programs is a certified nursing assistant and then we also have a dialysis technician oh, uh, assist uh, a dialysis technician program so someone might enter in as a CNA because those base level skills are what anybody going into healthcare are going to have to acquire okay. no matter how far you go up within that career ladder and then a next better paying and more sophisticated job would be a dialysis technician and those are two really good examples of how they stack on top of each other that's really neat it's so important and um, because employers are you know desperate especially in our in all of our when sectors. you think of those five sectors yeah you, you know the demand is high yes. but even on the ground like people are going into those jobs leaving all of the other jobs that they used to fill yes so if if you if you're looking for a job somewhere it's pretty easy to find an opening it is so if i'm an employer and i need x y and z to staff my office right and I can't find anyone, right. but I saw this show when I saw Tammy right, talking, right, right, what do right. I do? Right, no, that's a really good question because um, a couple of things. One is employers can feature their businesses in profiles on the Nevada Career Explorer. So I have described that tool as a, um, a it's a, a career information database, a right. software as a service, but it's active. With it, Nevada businesses. Exactly. Oh, that's really Yeah, cool. it's, it's live. So it exists on two ends, right? The individuals and the career seekers are using all these tools to find the best match, but then employers can feature their businesses and explain why they might be a good match for somebody who's looking on this side. Oh, that's neat. And when an individual has um, in-demand skills, then they are in a different position as they go look for the best place for them to work. And that's really important. And it's also important for employers to be able to say, hey, these are the kind of folks that we're looking for, and these are the key skills and abilities that we value. This is uh, the way that our enterprise is working to make our community better, to make our state stronger. And having all of that clearly articulated within a single system that a, a Nevadan could go into the public library and have that experience, yeah. that creates an altogether different um, energy around all of this work. That's really neat. It is. It's really powerful. As a matter of fact, uh, Manufacture Nevada recently endorsed the Sandy Project um, because for obvious reasons that uh, it's helping to upskill individuals to take their place in Nevada's manufacturing environments. It's so critical to Nevada's economy. Um, the key skills and abilities that are necessary for people to take those jobs are um, attainable with industry credentials. You don't have to have degrees in right. order to you know, be competitive in this market. And that's just why the tuition is so important, but it's important to be used strategically. Right, yeah, it makes a lot more sense, bang for your buck. Exactly. Um, one of the interesting parts of this is um, the Brookings Institute did a, a paper that we had talked about a little bit. And uh, one of the important parts is making sure it works. Yes. So yeah. part of what you're doing is data collection and talk. that's a really interesting component that we don't all think about. 
Oh, it's so Some important. of us are data geeks, but. <laughs> well, we live in a knowledge economy, and so decisions are made based on what the numbers say. Right. And so when you look at what that Brookings study did, it identified what is working in particular with the WIOA system. Um, which is an enormous federal program that affects every single part of Nevada's um, education institutions. Right. There's so much money that's available through the WIOA program. Right. And um, so one of the things that this study found is that it actually does work, but the but not that well. Right. You know, the re for all the uh, effort it exerts, um, the returns are not as high as they could as be. As we would want them to be. So. And they identified four things that could be done better. And that includes sectorial employment programs. And as I just said, right. that's what Sandy is focused on. It includes better job counseling and supportive services. So that's the magic behind this community of professionals that are rostering into the Nevada Career Explorer almost as like operators behind the system that then we all handle Nevadans in one ecosystem. Right. And we're using technology to make that possible. Nevada is very far flung. So our only chance to really work together as a team is to leverage technology in this right. way. And then the third thing was to improve data systems. Yeah. So then being able to be rostered into the system automatically creates um, the data that we're looking for. So we, we know which community a practice member is helping which type of Nevada and living in what community. And Nevada's libraries are all organized uh, based on our library cards. So we all share um, a way of identifying the individuals that live within our communities. And through this system, we are helping people that live within our library right. jurisdictions. So I'm not answering questions from someone from Churchill County when I am in a library in Carson City. Right. But the question gets directed to the librarian in Churchill County. Yeah. So that's just really very, very powerful. And you're collecting the data as you go. Exactly. So you always are going to know at the drop of a hat if it's success, if it's working and, and then how to make adjustments. That's exactly right. And that's the fourth piece that the Brookings Institute identified is being able to test innovation and then pivot and be flexible. And that's okay. really important. Uh, that is important. And uh, we need to take another break yeah. <laughs> right when we get to that important part. Yeah. But we'll be right back with Tammy on uh, Nevada Newsmakers. Like a traditional handmade basket, retail is woven into the fabric of life in Nevada. From big box to mom and pop, retail supports our communities in countless ways. Jobs for the disabled, team uniforms for kids, help for the elderly, and so much more. Retail employs over 1 in 10 workers. Retail supports Nevada, and we support retail. R-A-N-N-V dot org. Located in the heart of Carson City, the Bank Saloon is a historic watering hole with a modern feel. With a variety of classic cocktails featuring Nevada spirits, space for private events, conferences, and an incredible atmosphere, the Bank Saloon offers a great location to work and play. Come visit us. Located at the corner of 5th and Carson, we'll save you a drink. What do you count on? You count on your power every day. At NV Energy, we've always powered what's important to you, but we're not looking at the past. We're focused on the future. While our standards are high, our rates will remain low. And our commitment to renewables isn't just meeting standards, but leading the way. Because you can count on more than just your power. You can count on the company who brings it to you. That's our promise. You can count on it. Safety is the number one priority for the trucking industry. Over $7 billion a year is spent on technology like this electronic eye that will apply the brakes automatically. But the most important factor for safety is the truck driver. These hardworking men and women who safely move over 70% of our nation's freight and 94% of Nevada's. We thank you because trucks move America forward. This is Nevada Newsmakers.
We're back on Nevada Newsmakers talking workforce development with Tammy Westergaard. So we're talking about the kind of flexibility of your program and collecting data right. and why that's so important right. to make adjustments. Exactly. So one of the things that we can do is as we are in the community, um, we're creating momentum, we're involved with various groups, we take, we uh, do surveys like on every patron interaction as we go. So we're really able to see um, what is working sort of event by event and make adjustments, you know, as we need to. And we're also really um, so excited about partnering with business so that we can get some really clear understanding about what immediate needs are. Yeah. We know from a high level, you know, different skill sets are very important, but we also know that enterprise has specific needs kind of immediately and there's an order of operations. And it sounds like you have the ability because you're really on the ground in each Nevada community. We are. So you have the ability to match the workforce with the employers in that community. Exactly. So That's really fascinating. For example, sometimes employers, their biggest concern is upskilling their entry-level employees okay. so that they don't leave and go down the street for another dollar an hour. It's creating an opportunity to rise those employees up and continue to get them trained and skilled. And this program pays for that as well. That's awesome. Yeah, individuals can be underemployed or unemployed in order to qualify for this tuition. Amazing. Yeah. So if you're looking for a job, go to your public library. Absolutely. You don't have to worry about contacting the state. No. Just go to your community library. And say, hey, I want to get going in the Nevada Career Explorer. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then if you're an employer, yes. then go to the website, the Project Sandy website. The, yes. that's it, the, it, Within the Governor's Office of Economic Development, we have a whole page that's built out and it'll allow you to connect directly with me or with Karsten Heiss, who is the strategic programs director okay. um, who really was the brainchild behind all of us. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Oh, thanks it's for really having an us. Exciting yeah, program. No, we're really excited to be here. So all thank right. you, Rachel. You bet. All right. Thanks for joining us today on Nevada Newsmakers. Imagine a magical garden that feeds Carson City's hungry and homeless, teaches our high school students agriculture, creates hanging floral displays to beautify downtown and yet charges nothing. It's not magic. It's the Greenhouse Project. It's real, it's growing, and it needs your help. Go online to carsoncitygreenhouse.org so together we can grow it forward. With Nevada's only transplant center and verified burn center, the science is here. With award-winning cardiologist and the state's only dedicated heart failure clinic, the talent is here. With Nevada's most advanced robotic surgery, the technology is here. And with the Silver State's only designated pediatric trauma center, hope is here. All because we are here. UMC. Snorkel personnel lifts are engineered beyond the industry norm to an uncommon level of safety and durability and with an eye towards sustainability. They're also designed to be simple to operate and maintain. Snorkel, always at the cutting edge of progress. Love and luck are in the air at Carson Valley Inn. Thousand dollar winners guaranteed every drawing night. Up to $7,500 every Saturday. And $15,000 in grand prize giveaways Friday, March 31st. It's the Love and Luck giveaways at the Carson Valley Inn. When in Carson City, Nevada Newsmakers records in the conference room at the Bank Saloon. Coverage of the 2023 legislative session is brought to you by Liberty Dental Plan, making members shine one smile at a time. Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. The Regional Transportation Commission of Washoe County, your RTC, our community. NV Energy, proudly serving Nevada, providing electricity to 2.4 million electric customers. And by Nevada Builders Alliance, building a better Nevada. 
Thanks for watching and listening to the Nevada Newsmakers. You can watch Nevada Newsmakers 24-7 at nevadanewsmakers.com. See you on the next show.